Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kat and this is Catadactyl and today I'm going to be doing my May TBR for English works. So I have five books to get to, so let's just go ahead and jump right on into it. So the first book on my English list is Akata Witch by Nnedi Okorafor, and she identifies as being from Nigeria and the US. In this one we follow Sunny, who was born in America but lives in Nigeria, and she is actually an albino. And suddenly she realizes that she has latent powers and she sets out to be her own free agent. And I don't really know more than that, but I've been meaning to read Nnedi Okora for, for a very long time, so I figured I'd go give it a go with this one because I also um, know that the second one is out, so that's really good. If you guys have read it, let me know what you think. I've also read that Nnedi Okora for named the two books um, Akata Witch because it's kind of a derogatory slang against um, some women in Nigeria. So I'm more interested in finding out about Nigerian culture and different aspects of Nigerian life through the lens of being a woman. So if you've read it, let me know what you thought. Um, I'm really excited to get into it. The next book that I really want to get to is Amatka by Karen Tidbeck, who is a Swedish writer. And um, she's Swedish, but she wrote it in English. And in Amatka, we follow Vanja, who has been sent to the very cold, austere city of Amatka, where she starts working for the government. But as she works, she realizes that things are weird in the city and that language has the power to shape people's lives and also to destroy. So she falls in love with her housemate Nina, queer rep, and she realizes that there is a subversive element going on in the city um, shaped by language. And this book has been blurbed as similar to Atwood and Le Guin, and I am so here for it. As soon as I learned about this book, I was like, I want it so bad. Um, she's written another one, Jagannath, which is, I believe, a collection of short stories. And as you guys know, if you follow me at all, um, short stories are either like really great for me or like I really don't like them. So instead of like jumping right into that dichotomy, I decided to read the book first and see if her writing style gels with me. And I mean, I love the society that she has going on and the, the shaped by language. So um, I'm really excited for Amatka. If any of you guys have read it, do let me know. Um, I really do love um, Swedish writers. I recently re read um, Let the Right One In and it blew my freaking mind. <laughs> All right, and next up we have The Wolf Road by Beth Lewis, who is an English writer. And in this one, we follow Elka, who was rescued from the woods when she was lost as a child by a man that she calls Trapper. Until one day when she's in the city and she sees signs up for Trapper because turns out he's a murderer. So the government is hot on their trail because she's trying to find him to find out more about him and her birth parents and where she fits in to like which family. And then of course the government is trying to find her and also Trapper who is a wanted criminal. And they go through the wilderness. Anything that sounds remotely like My Absolute Darling, I'm totally here for. So she is um, a very strong female main character. Um, it happens in the wilderness. She has a lot of survival skills and um, the men in her life are very dangerous. So um, I'm really looking forward to this book. If anyone has read it, let me know. I haven't heard anything about it on booktube. So um, I picked it up purely because the back just sounded amazing. I don't know the reviews. I haven't read them. <laughs> So I'm hoping that it is just amazeballs. And the last two books that I want to talk about are both from America, and one of them is a most anticipated release and one of them I already own. The most anticipated release is Barbed Wire Heart by Tess Sharp, and in this one we follow Harley McKenna, who is the daughter of a drug kingpin. And she realizes that as the world is becoming more and more dangerous around her, rival drug empires are starting to creep upon her father's empire and as she collects money and evades danger and learns to use weapons, she realizes that the only way out of this situation is to take down the entire empire, her father's empire, from the inside. So it really reminds me, like, if you mashed up The Trader Bar Requirement by Seth Dickinson, where she is working her way up from the inside to dismantle the whole system, and All the Ugly and Wonderful Things, um, where she's dealing with a family that is a drug lord and the ensuing chaos from that. 
So I am really looking forward to it. I believe it came out sometime in April and I am absolutely looking forward to it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the last book, which I don't think needs any introduction. So it is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I got this when I went to America last summer, like almost a year ago. And it's just been staring at me with this beautiful black spine on my shelf like this whole time. Um, so I know that it's six kind of outlaws, outcasts, and they have to go on a heist mission and this is a duology that people just seem to rave about. Um, and the great thing is that the second one is actually available at my husband's school's library. So if I really love it, I can get the second one immediately for free. Um, yeah, so I know that the hype is crazy and I know that everyone loves it. Um, I have seen a few of um, my favorite booktubers say like they thought it was like meh, but for the most part, it seems like everyone loves it. Um, so this is another one that I'm planning to read when things get really dark and I need some like action, something to really distract me and kind of like suck me back into the reading flow. Um, yeah, so that wraps up my TBR for the English books for May. So if you like any of these, please do let me know in the comments. Um, and if you have any recommendations, also I would love to hear it and I hope you are having an amazing day. If you guys like this video, then please give me a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. It would really mean a lot. Next up, please look out for my April wrap-ups. Probably two parts because I read so many books. And I hope that you have an awesome day. So without further ado, I'm just going to say bye. Toodles.